I really do apologize if you can hear the fan in the background, but I'm hot as frick and you're just gonna have to cope. Hello everybody, so where have I been? I promised I would film more YouTube videos and I haven't. Loving the rock look today. Rock look? Rocking the look today. So yeah, I just, I don't wanna spend too long introducing the video. I'm just gonna get straight into it. What's, what do I wanna show first? Do I wanna show 45s or do I wanna show albums I feel like I'm gonna show 45s because I can just go through them really quickly the way I film this is gonna be really odd just because there's more 12 inch than singles so yeah a lot of these are Michael Jackson by the way there's only a few of them that aren't okay we have another part of me we are the world she's out of my life dirty Diana sorry the light is gonna really bother you isn't it no you have to deal bad PYT I really wish that they didn't use the thriller picture on PYT because it's just like why would you do that smooth criminal I want you back but the the remix version the way you make me feel who is it Billy Jean walk right now thriller I just can't stop loving you this is mine and Michael's song if you don't know who Michael is Michael is one of my best friends and this is mine and his song beat it torture the way I'm doing this is so awkward, oh my god. I don't film long long ass videos, okay? It's awkward for me. Leave me alone. Another Billie Jean. Oh, I can give that to Martina. Wanna be starting something? Um, This is Ladies Night by Call and the Gang. May I bought this mainly because I saw footage of Michael singing it and it's just the way he was like, this is your night tonight, everything's gonna be all right. So I wanted to get it and now I really like the song, but it was stuck in my head for days. Karma Chameleon, I've, this is like a childhood song to me. I grew up listening to this song and I did do a Boy George makeup look before, but there's only one photo on my Instagram. ABBA, Super Trooper, Total Clips of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. And I did not realize oh my god there was another song that i absolutely love and i didn't realize it was by bonnie tyler and i knew that i had to buy it and i've forgotten what it was i have literally just heard someone shout al akbar and upside down by diana Ross. so they are on my 45s um that was probably super awkward to film and i'm sorry but we're just we're just going to move on to the um <laughs> hold up Okay, so the first one I have is Grease. Um, my nan actually gave this to me the day I got my record player. We went into my nan's attic and she gave me a few vinyls and this was one of them. Um, I don't throw this on an awful lot. I do really, really love Grease and I love the songs, but it's not one that I find myself throwing on the record player that often. This one I got at my local record store and this is um, th The Last Dance. This is uh, Diana Ross, Jackson 5, Stevie Wonder, Gladys Knight. Uh, the Temptations, Marvin Gaye, uh, Michael Jackson, Smokey Robinson. This is like your typical Motown record and even though it's not like, it doesn't really contain many songs that I know, it does have artists that I like. So Diana Ross, Jackson 5, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder. They are good songs on here. Then we have Ghostbusters. This is really thin. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I, I guess it's yeah i didn't realize how thin this was but yeah no this is just ghostbusters the only song i know off here is the ghostbusters theme tune so this is all that i've put it on the record player for this was again given to me by my nan this was bought for me for christmas this is smash hits now that's what i call music um like you know you get like now this is what i call music and get them on cds this was a record one like this is a record one this came out in 1987 then I have, now that's what I call music, three. Um, this one's been on the record player like less than the other one. I think I've put this on there once. Then I have Labour of Love by UB40. My mum loves UB40. I'm not a huge, huge fan. I do like um, like Red Red Wine, Cherry Baby, Sweet Sensation, um, Please Don't Make Me Cry, and a few other songs that I like by them. But And like, hold, is it Hold Your Cup or Hold My Cup? I really love that song. This is um, Christmas with Love. Uh, I I bought this around Christmas time because I really really wanted like that um, vintage Christmas feel, like throwing songs on the uh, record player and listening to Christmas songs. Um, this is all orchestra though, so none of this is like singing, and I didn't really like it. Uh, it didn't cost me 99p though; it was from a charity shop. And this came out in 1972. 
all of my records are old by the way that i have one modern day and brand new record oh wait no i didn't that's a lie i have two next we have the first album that was bought for me um this was 18 greatest hits michael jackson plus jackson 5. next i have good old whitney houston she is also in plastic packaging because she's really weak um I, when I bought this, I thought it was just gonna be I Wanna Dance With Somebody. It doesn't have the original song on it, it only has a remix, which is kind of annoying because I really do just love the song. I like, I didn't buy it for a remix, but the remix is really, really good. So I'm not complaining, I do love this. I have put it on multiple times, so yeah. Next I have Queen, News of the World. My nan and granddad gave this one to me. Uh, this one hasn't been on too often. I only know like two songs on here. Uh, we will rock you and we are the champions i do love queen i adore queen like other than um the jackson five or the jacksons and 3t they're my next favorite band next my oldest why not this is simon and garfunkel i bought this strictly for sound of silence and there's no singing on this and i absolutely love it next i have now that's what i call music five this is just um an array of songs next i have motown we know i love motown love motown it's where michael and the jackson five's career started off um this one is diana ross diana ross and the supremes um i haven't put i think i've put this on the record player once and that's it then i have the beatles i haven't listened to this i'm only a fan of like one song of the Beatles and that's come together mainly because Michael did it. I think Michael did it better. I do know like Yellow Submarine and like um stuff like that but I didn't really listen to them. I have this typically because my nana grand gave it to me. This bit here isn't the vinyl. This is um pieces of another vinyl that was stuck to it so I can easily take this off but I don't want to damage it so I'm leaving it. Oh that sound. But look. Stuff like this. I freaking love. Next I have my first Jackson 5 vinyl that I bought. This is one of my favourite Jackson 5 albums. This is Victory. If you don't know, um, I do makeup on my chest, so I do like um, media makeup, extreme makeup, and I this was the first album cover I did on my chest, and it's what sort of got me the recognition that I have. Um, TJ Jackson noticed this, he put it on his Instagram, and I gained a lot of attention around it like um so many people messaged me like oh my god I, I saw your victory makeup that's amazing that's sort of what got me started into putting album designs on my chest and I've done many more since then but this album thank god is the thing that got me into the like chest makeup and everything so this album has a very special place in my heart um and I love it and also I'm gonna buy another vinyl of it because I want this picture in my room somewhere next we have a lot of my friends favorite Jackson album this is triumph I did this look the other day I did this one which is a lot of people's favorite actually people have said to me like oh my god that one was my favorite that you've done um, I just want to say if you're doing makeup and you're like getting started trust the process because I got to like the outline of the peacock and I thought this looks fucking awful I hate it I wanted to take it all off but in the end if you actually look at my Instagram it looked quite decent actually I'll insert a photo now so yeah always trust the process don't give up please don't give up this took me about four hours three hours in I was like fuck it I hate it but no trust the process love this album can you feel it is one of my favorite Jackson songs so Next we have Alonso's favourite album. I'm just gonna cut in the video. I'm sat here editing the video and something happens with my microphone in the next clip. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear anything when I was recording this, um, but it sounds like there is a ghost like full on playing patagate in front of my microphone. Just, just listen. So yeah, this is off the wall. This is like, this is an amazing album. I love this album. This is Alonzo's favorite album. Alonzo is my friend. Um, a little shout out, go subscribe to Alonzo. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. Next we have Thriller. This is one that I actually bought myself. I have two Thriller albums. I bought this one because it wasn't damaged. The one that my nan and granddad gave me was damaged. 
and it really annoyed me because I don't want any of my vinyls to be damaged, especially Thriller, Thriller of all albums. So yeah, this is just, um, I bought this for like £7 from my local vinyl shop. What are you doing? So as I'm taking a quick break so my mum can go downstairs, I have opened a store and I'm really excited about it. It's my first ever Gibson. I have opened a merch store, it's called Georgia Duh. <laughs> I typically released merch with myself on it and then I was like, even though that I have 175,000 followers on TikTok, not everyone is going to want a picture of me on some merch, so I released a new line which um, contains some art that I did and actually a lot of people have bought some, so I'm going to be releasing some more stuff soon because your girl lost her job, your girl needs money, so next we have destiny I, I don't know what it is i love everything about this album cover just everything about it everything like uh. okay if you got rid of the thing here that says featuring blame it on boogie it would be better because i think it kind of ruins it but other than that love it there's another peacock maybe i'll do it maybe not not my favorite picture then we have ben your typical like, see, I'm nervous now because my mum's in the bathroom and she can hear me talking. I have put this on, I do love it. It's cute, I love it. It's a cute album. Then we have like every typical vinyl collector's first Michael Jackson album, or, or, or just Thriller, but I have Bad. Um, love this album, one of my favourites to just throw on the vinyl player. Um, my favourite song on here is probably Just Good Friends or The Way You Make Me Feel. Or Man in the Mirror, or Smooth Criminal. Okay, I like them all. <laughs> no, you're very, very typical, like Michael Jackson vinyl. Like when you think of Michael Jackson vinyls, you initially think of Thriller and Bad. Or is that just my preference? Then I have Michael Jackson with the Jackson Five um, live. If you can tell me what performance this is, it would really help because I was sat there with Alonso thinking about this last night. We don't know what performance this is because it's an array of songs. It's not just Michael, the Jackson 5. There's some of like Jermaine's songs on here, I think. And it was really, really random. And I don't know what performance this is or if it's part of a tour. I don't know. It doesn't really give you a backstory. Next we have Scream. Look how cool that looks. It's blue. It's blue. And it also glows in the dark. Next I have One More Chance on Picked Desk. My friend Michael bought this for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It's still such a pretty album to look at. I may put it on display, I may not. It just, it really just depends. Then my favorite album. One of my best friends, Prince, bought this for me and I love him for it. It's history. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Then I have Michael Jackson and Diana Ross love songs. I don't throw this on too many times because I don't know that many of Diana Ross's songs, but I do love Diana Ross, so I should probably put this on the record more. Then I have a Diana Ross album. This is called The Lo uh, To Love Again. I think she's gorgeous and my heart is gonna break when she leaves us. I hope she never does. Then I have 3T. This is why this also doesn't work. And then my last final. Janet Jackson, you want this. I love Janet Jackson. She's put me on her story a few times. Um, I love this. So there you go. That was my vinyl collection. Um, my vinyl collection is gr gr growing constantly. I'm quite proud of my vinyl collection. I love vinyls and I would like to do a CD collection, but I think I'm collaborating with Cordell Cully for that. So that'll be exciting. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I promise to be more consistent. <laughs>